next three days, the goal is to try to find projects that we can get rolled out into production inside of the company. I knew I had to build a team site. One of the teams we have is called the Shire. In three days, I'm going to have the Shire's new sites. You got a lot more work cut out for you than we originally had planned. I hope you're okay with that. product with trucks all over the place. And as simple as that sounds, scheduling, we need the big box truck to go from here to here at 10 o'clock. Hmm, it'd be really smart if while they're there, oh, three o'clock, we have something going back. Let's get smart about how we're moving our stuff around. We're building out an app on SharePoint using Power Apps and it's gonna coordinate all that for us. Hi, Kurt, is Hi. a good time to come talk about this the form? perfect, come in. Great. So I hear we have a transfer truck request list. Yes. And it's a SharePoint list. It basically is just a list that allows us to easily, more efficiently move product between our different facilities. That kind of stuff, right, as you know, gets more complicated as you have many locations, right? And people aren't quite sure what the process is and how to do it. A Power App is interesting because it has this great, easy, no-code way of taking basically anything you want to create from scratch and being able to make an app out of that that everyone in the company can use on their phones. So you can do fun things like social, you can do useful company things like being able to take pictures with an app, like if you're on site and you need to have a quick record of something that you see in a warehouse, fill out forms, of course. All right, so this seems like the great candidate to be a Power App. Power Apps actually is gonna have a customized list form now. This is huge because now this, there is the ability to just immediately right there in the browser be customizing the way you want the list form to look. So I do think there's two sets of users to this. Okay. What I've liked about Lori is she is just like, sit down and get started. Like, all right, let's, she's a builder. It took me more time to get her hooked into it than her to go, all right, move over. Right, here's what's going on, let me read through this. We can redo that, we can redo this, we can redo this, and it's like, wow. We're going to go ahead and kind of make note of, you know, what all the fields are and any kind of special logic that we need to have around them. Okay. We'll need to talk about the business process. Okay. So what people does this go through once it gets submitted? Does the person that's submitting it have uh, certain fields that they see when they fill it out? Historically, Microsoft's had this product called InfoPath, which came out in 2003 that I fell in love with back then. I've even I wrote a book for Microsoft on InfoPath. It's run its course. There's no more development on it. Power Apps is not just a form replacement for InfoPath. It does a ton of things. It's got over a hundred different types of services and databases that you can use. You can have a SQL database, an Azure database, you know, some service like Twitter, or even create your own custom ones. So it's really, really a great platform. And then once they actually finish transferring the truck, do they need to check a box saying that that's done? Yeah, yeah, we need to have some sort of closure process. Well, let's go ahead and build it out then. All right. Thanks. The challenge with my side of things was creating a team site, creating a place of work when they don't see a problem. They've got everything in their OneNote. So Trisha and I use it to manage our project work. I see OneNote as a place to plan. I see that we can do all of our draft documents and our kind of collection stuff. And, notes and, and our, right. our brainstorming. Like you're kind of missing the mean point of SharePoint and faking it in OneNote, which is awesome. I might argue that your team site where you're working privately is where all those drafty thingies should go. There's definitely better ways of doing it. We can put that into SharePoint, into Microsoft Teams. So I'm excited to see at the end of the third day how they're gonna like it, if they're gonna like it. You know, while everybody's at home and relaxing, we're trying to finish work. It is definitely a time crunch, especially the design. I'm worried about not having completely done. 